Hi, welcome to eClassopedia. Myself, Ruchi Gur, Physics Tutor at eClassopedia. eClassopedia is online learning platform where we teach students from all over the world and all subjects. Today, we are here to discuss on the topic energy. We'll check out what is energy. What is energy? Energy, energy, anything you would do work, whatever work you do, it requires energy. What is energy? Energy is ability to do work. We can say a capacity of doing work is called energy. How can you measure this? Is simply it is measured in joules. So we say the SI unit of energy is joules. Now I say that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed, but it can be transferred from one form to another, or you can say it can be converted from one form to another. According to this law, what happens? So total energy in a system is conserved, even though transformation of energy occurs. So transformation of energy is going to occur, which means that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed, but it can be converted, or you can say it can be transferred from one form to another. What is the example of this? Example of this is electric bulb. So what happened in this case, electrical energy is transferred into two forms. What are these? These are heat and light. So in electrical bulb, we see that it is converted into heat and light energy. Now, in case of gravitational energy, let's check out uh, how does it work. So we'll take example of, of water world. What happens over here? Gravitational energy is transferred to kinetic energy. Now, let us check what is the ultimate source of uh, energy on the Earth and what is it? It is the sun. So, sun is considered as an elemental form of energy on the Earth. So, in a, over here, what we did, here we did what is energy? Energy is ability to do work or you can simply say it is capacity of doing work which is measured in joule and we studied here what is law of conservation of energy? We can uh, say that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed, but it can be converted or transferred from one form to another. Now, let us check out what are the various types of energy. So, we will see what are the types of energy over here. There are different types of energy. An object can possess different kind of, uh, time, types of energy, different kinds of energy. Most commonly, we use kinetic energy. Then we use gravitational energy. What is gravitational energy? Object above ground have gravitational energy. Why it is so? This is because all gravitational force can cause them to fall to the earth. So this is the reason why there is gravitational force. Okay. Now see object with gravitational energy do not appear to have energy at all. This is what we say is the potential energy. Now let us see potential energy. It is energy stored that when released is converted to other forms. What, uh, what does it mean? Energy, it is in stored form, means it is at rest. When it is released, when this is going to be released, it is converted into other forms. What would be its form? It would be sound, it would be heat, or it would be light. Now, let us check out what is kinetic energy. The energy which is possessed by the object that are moving means, means whatever, if there is any object moving, such as car, vehicle, any other thing, and whenever it is moving, it is, means it is having the uh, kinetic energy. Now, let us check what is Elastic energy, elastic energy which is stored by an elastic object that is rich such as spring or rubber band. So the example of elastic energy is spring or rubber band. Then we have uh, chemical energy. What is this chemical energy? It is energy that is stored in chemicals when reacted together such as burning reactions. Over here, they release heat, sound or light. This is what we have over here. So here we uh, studied different types of energy. Let's continue to the other forms and another types of energy. What are these? Let us check out. Yeah, here we have nuclear energy. What is this? It's, it is simply that is energy stored in nucleus of the atom. That, that is at the center of atom, there is nucleus which contain in electrons, protons, neurons. So it says energy stored in nucleus of atom. It can release energy slowly. What it would be? It would be the nuclear reactor or which caused the quick nuclear explosion. Now we have electrical energy. What is electrical energy? It is simple and basic energy supplied to homes by power lines and available to your appliances is by power outlets in home. This is what we have, electrical energy. Now we have heat energy. What is heat energy? Simply, it relates to temperature. 
energy that causes object to gain temperature is called heat energy. Then you have light energy. What is this that may be released, for example, when an object is heat or the nuclear reaction in the star is the light energy. Then you have sound energy. It is simple that is detected by your ear. So energy carried by the air in a room are and detected by the ear. So here we studied about different forms of energy and we studied about nuclear energy, electrical energy, heat energy, light energy, sound energy. Now we will check kinetic energy. How to calculate the uh, problems on kinetic energy? What is kinetic energy? It is energy possessed due to motion, means the energy possessed due to virtue of motion when the object is moving. What is the formula to calculate kinetic energy is equal to half times mass times velocity square. So what is mass? Uh, and M is the mass over here. And what is V believe is the velocity or you can the speed of object square of velocity. So here we have one of the example, one of the problem we can calculate can, uh, kinetic energy of a cyclist and bicycle with total mass of 100 kg, which is traveling at five meters per second. So here we know that kinetic energy, kinetic energy is equal to half times mass times velocity square. So if I substitute my values over here, we know mass over here is m. m. This is what we have one. Mass is 100. So I'll write over here 100. And we know velocity is 5. I'll write over here 5. And when I solve it, what I get? I get 1, 2, 5, 0, 0. So this is how we can calculate kinetic energy. What is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is that at energy which possess, which is due to motion. Now let us check out what is potential energy and how we can calculate potential energy. So uh, here we have gravitational potential energy. What it is? It is energy required or possessed or acquired by an object due to change in position. And when it is in the gravitational field to calculate uh, gravitational potential energy, we have mass into gravity into height, or you can say mass times gravity times height. M represents the mass of object, G represents the gravitational acceleration, and H represents the vertical height. So if we have to calculate gravitational potential energy, now let us check. So here, what is given? Calculate the potential energy of an 80 kg sky, which means mass is 80 kg. I can write over there, mass is 80 kg, height is 20 meter, okay? And we have to find out potential energy. We know potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times height. So 80 into 10 into 20, I substitute my values over here and this is what I get. So this is simple and easier to calculate it kinetic energy and potential energy. Now let us check out what are the energy resources. See, all forms of fuels, etc., in the modern world, either for heating, for generation of electricity, or conversion of process. So, energy resources can be properly be categorized into three. What are these? These things are renewable resources, fuels resources, and this could be nuclear resources. What is renewable resources? You can say like wind energy, solar energy, biomass energy, hydropower, uh, tidal energy, and wave power, and geothermal energy. These all are renewable source of energy. So these all comes under the renewable resources of energy. Now we say fossils. Fossils, you have examples of fossils are coal, petroleum, and natural gas. And then for nuclear, you have examples of nuclear fusion and nuclear reaction. So here we studied about various energy resources. These are resources is which are used, uh, which can be classified as renewable, fossils, nuclear. We studied all their examples. 
so okay so here we have some practice problems uh, practice problems i hope you understood with every part of the uh, of the uh, topic so if you uh, if you found uh, if you are able to solve and you found the answers so or write them in the com uh, comment box thanks for watching the video